So the overall energy I'm getting is something somewhat needs to let go of something. You know, sometimes when, um, you know, you get stalled or some sort of plans get stalled or delayed, <clears throat> it's not always to teach you a lesson, but maybe somebody else. Someone needs to give something up. Maybe they need to needed to agree to something or compromise, but maybe they refused to compromise with you. This person or this group, somebody could be older, but they needed to learn a lesson. They needed something to grow, to change, but it's for them, not necessarily for you. Especially if you're a light worker or, you know, the, the journey for you isn't always easy in itself. But sometimes you are meant to be someone else's karma or teach someone else a lesson. Something was not full. Few. These are all in the reverse. So I have full and few in the reverse. White in the reverse. <clears throat> Rough in the reverse. So somebody, somebody thought they were expecting some sort of abundance and they did something many times. This person is not innocent with white in the reverse. They thought if they did something enough times, something would go smoothly for them. There's something very different though. This person should have ran away. They didn't run. Um, they were trying to scare you or get you to run away from something. Maybe stop digging into something, stop truth seeking, fact finding stop dishing out their karma like somebody may be blaming you for some sort of karma you could be at a distance from somebody um you could just be different from someone like there's such a distance and this could be mentally physically emotionally um but you could be at a distance from someone like they can't they can't catch up with you because you're of the light this person is of the dark and they have dark intentions and they've been intentionally trying to do something because they refuse to compromise so it's like they're trying to force their will onto someone here to force them to make a decision or make a movement something like that but something is in divine timing so say say someone's trying to get you to move or leave a location something like that and then you go out to start your car and it doesn't start okay um you had every intention of doing something, of going out and, um, you know, securing a place or putting a down payment on something, whatever the case. But the divine was like, nope, 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 I'm not ready for you to leave yet. Someone still hasn't learned their lesson. Someone's not free. Someone feels trapped. This could be you or this person is trapped within whatever plan they had against the divine femur masculine. They're not free. They're bound to something. There could be some sort of evidence about this. Um, people may be talking about this person. The legal system could be significant. Um, someone's trying to force their will onto someone else here. And they really needed to compromise and grow and act mature. Someone could have mental health issues. Someone may need to go see a therapist or something. <clears throat> someone is not a good leader. Someone could have abused their power. They're being cunning. Someone's not free because they're being cunning and deceptive. They're being dishonest. They're trying to be sneaky and slick. They thought it was funny to play games, to try to keep you from feeling free, from getting free. They wanted you to feel stuck, like maybe they were in control. They obviously were not smart. They didn't have wisdom. They're not being divinely guided. And they're impatient. <clears throat> so they don't know how to wait on divine timing. They probably don't even believe in divine timing. But they did something impatiently to once again force something to happen before God, the Spirit, um, you know, Father, Son, Holy Ghost, whatever it is you believe in. Um, they did something impatiently. And um, this is going to backfire on them because they are trying to force you to go against God's will. And God maybe just be trying to tell them something or teach them a lesson. Maybe it's not even about you, but he's using you as someone's karma and that does happen um if people don't want to learn their lessons and you're here to grow and evolve and help people learn lessons or teach them someone may have a lesson to learn earth sign taurus virgo or capricorn could be significant here so somebody doesn't want things to change they're not using their smarts they're not using their wisdom they're really not making smart moves by trying to bully or use some sort of tactics to force their will or their opinion on you. It's 
see if anything else comes out. Alright, I'm not getting anything else, so... Let's... I'm gonna go to my office cards. <clears throat> oh, what is that on your face? Is that a disguise of clown paint? So someone's left looking like a clown. If someone thought you were doing something intentionally to, like, provoke them or goad them, it's like someone thinks you're playing games and you're not playing games. You're tapped in. You're a divine being. And you have a divine connection and divine protection. And someone keeps playing in your energy. They keep playing with you. They keep trying to make something for something that's just not going to happen. I keep various weaponry strategically placed around the office. I saved Jim's life once with a can of pepper spray. I velcroed under my desk. So someone may be looking like a clown because you know how to protect yourself. If this person is doing any sort of legit spell work or throwing rocks, hiding hands, you're protected. You have protection. And someone may also be helping protect you. Someone thought that... Um, You know, just because they wear some sort of um, suit or maybe they dress nice, that um, they're someone who is held in high honor, maybe because they have a little bit of money or something. Hello, welcome to Hay, a place for Hay. But someone's left looking stupid. Something is for show. Something is a front. This can also be a business that's being used, um, like, as a money laundering thing. Um... Like, there's a business here that's just for show. It's, like, fake. There's something else going on within a business. And they could be trying to force you out or force you away because they don't want you interfering with the illegal dealings they have going on there. Maybe you were patiently waiting. So, you know, you're patiently waiting or you could have been patiently waiting on divine timing and they could have taken some sort of action and they could have thought that something was going to work out in their favor. But there's a business here that's being used as like a front for something. It's not as it appears. Like something is just like the bare minimum... Um, these business owners, like, if this is, like, a realtor or something like that, this is, like, slumlord kind of energy kind of, you know, stuff like that, you know, something where someone runs a business, but first of all, they don't know what the hell they're doing, second of all, it's just for show because they're doing illegal activities, maybe they're running drugs or prostitution ring or something out, that is the way to go, incident death, very smart, and stuck, so something is stuck for them, they could have tried to cause an instant ending for you, something quick, um, like I said, someone got impatient, someone was impatient and did something quickly here, and so something could be ending quickly for them, it could be the shutting down, the closing of a business, um, it could be the truth getting exposed, somebody thought they were going to make a move and something is stuck, okay, it's not as easy as they think it is, whatever the situation is, Something that they were planning on using didn't work out. So they planned, there was something they planned on using here. <clears throat> Whether it was a tactic or a plan or a resource, and it stuck. Like they, they thought it was a good plan. They thought it was a great idea. They thought they had a resource available to them. And so they tried to utilize that. And that could even be in the form of just paying someone to like turn the other way or look the other way, turn a blind eye to something. <clears throat> now, someone tried to cause an instant death to you by using a resource that they thought that they had, and it turns out they didn't. Identity theft is not a joke, Jim. Millions of families suffer every year, so they may don't they maybe don't want anyone to find out. Maybe they don't want anyone to find out that they stole your identity, or they're using a false identity, a fake identity. Something is fake. Something is fake. And they did this to someone who they thought would be unsuspecting that they would never figure this out. <clears throat> someone could have signed your signature, used your identification. Somebody stole your identity for something or to do something possibly illegal or shady. And then they may have tried to turn around and set you up or frame you for it so that they could get away. But they're the ones that are running the business. So whoever's in charge of this business is held liable because you may not even be on good terms with this person. 
someone's watching. Someone could be watching you on social media. It could be these people. It could be this boss, this owner, this group of people, whoever these people are. Someone's watching something, and it could be online. And butt liquors or prices have never been lower. There could have been an altercation here. So someone could have been exposed for stealing someone's identity. There could have been an altercation, um, maybe a confrontation. Uh, you could have confronted someone about stealing your identity or somebody else confronted them because there could be a paper trail and something could be leading back to this person. And I don't know if you know this, and I, I'm not saying I know too much about these groups and these secret societies and all that, but I do know the more attention you bring to them, the more heat you bring to them, and if you break the law or get arrested, you lose their protection. So if this person or this group of people, whoever these people are, thought that they were protected by whatever organization that they're connected to, that's not the case. Because you can't be doing illegal shit and be bringing heat and um, you can't get arrested, okay? You can't be charged with a crime or you lose your protection. So there's a resource here that someone thought they had but they got caught doing some illegal shit, and so they lost their protection within this group. Even if they were using their business to make money for this group, or this group was used to being bribed or take bribes or something like that, it's one thing to take a bribe, but it's another thing to get caught doing it <laughs> or bringing attention to it by doing illegal things, especially to someone who doesn't deserve it. King of Swords. So someone could have gotten a judgment against them or tried to use a judge um, against someone. Somebody was very cold-hearted, vampire energy. Um, someone was a liar. They were dishonest. There's going to be a message of truth about an injury. <clears throat> so the truth, a message could be getting exposed about you being a wounded warrior, about how you ended up being injured, about this person trying to hurt you or injure you with lies or trying to get a judgment against you. And they could have falsified documents. Like I said, they could have stolen your identity, stolen your signature, something like that. Doctored up some paperwork to make it look like something was legit when it wasn't. Something isn't matching up. We have somebody here who wants to be compassionate towards you. Um, this is a message, emotional possibly of love and admiration someone could be wanting to send you a message about how much they admire you and they want to be compassionate to you reach out maybe lend you a helping hand because they're finding out about what someone did or what this group of people did to you to cause you some sort of injury <clears throat> because something wasn't your fault it's not like you weren't trying you were putting forth the work and effort but if god doesn't tell you to move you can't move you know what i'm saying like if you go to go to the store and, you know, like sometimes things are for your protection, but sometimes God is like, no, we're not done here yet. So even if you have plans to move forward, it's not always according to your plan. You know what I'm saying? Not my will, thy will be done is what I'm hearing. So, you know, something isn't your fault. Somebody thought you were just being lazy or you were provoking them or you were pushing them intentionally just to see how far you would take something. That's not the case here. But somebody does want to partner up with you, two of cups situation. So somebody is admiring you. <clears throat> this could be somebody within the group or within an organization. Somebody watching you. They could be watching you if you have a platform. Someone's watching something on a screen. <clears throat> and that could be any kind of screen. Phone screen, computer screen. Someone was not held in high honor. There is a king of swords here that was dishonorable. Maybe they made a bad judgment call against you in the past. Maybe somebody was bribed to throw a judgment in the past. <clears throat> I know I did a reading not that long ago where it was like a feminine like lawyer or judge. This would be a masculine judge if this is someone in a position of authority, a king of swords. Um, this would be a masculine here who may have thrown a case or done something in the past. Someone was not held in high honor. There's a masculine energy that was not held in high honor. And now maybe they may be admiring you because they see your hard work. They see you building a legacy. They saw you build something possibly from the ground up. They see how hard you're working. And so someone wants to take some sort of action to, you know, keep hurting you, continually hurting you. And someone said no. Someone just said no. We're not doing this. We're not, no, this is not how this is working out. So someone could have tried to approach someone within the group to get like, um, 
their blessing to stop someone from moving forward or from traveling. And um, it didn't, they didn't get the blessing. Or this king of swords could have traveled towards someone to take some sort of action. Someone could have traveled towards the king of swords to get a blessing or get some sort of authorization. Um, but this person was evil. Okay, the star in the reverse. So somebody traveled, they had dark intentions, or they were trying to stop someone from traveling or moving forward. And then we have some sort of addiction or obsession. Someone could be addicted or obsessed with you and your life's work or whatever it is you're doing. It can also be that this Two of Cups situation is considered taboo. So maybe this was, this could have been um, someone who made a judgment against you. Maybe you stood in, I'm just using this as an example. It doesn't have to be the exact case. <clears throat> Say you went in front of a judge. They had a judgment against you. You could have been in front of this person multiple times. Say you went to like eviction court or something like that. Say, you know, someone's trying to get you to leave a property, whatever, okay? Um, say you've been to a court before in front of a judge and they made rulings like really bad rulings. Like, you know how normally someone would give you like 30 days to vacate a premises. This judge could have made rulings in the past where you had like a week or two weeks to get the hell out of somewhere. And it could have even been your own family's house or something like that. A family owned property, um, somewhere that you were technically supposed to have permission to be, but you know, someone got pissed off and wanted to hurt you. So they did something really shady to you. So, this person may have done something to you in the past, but they, they may have um, been watching you and admiring you since this stuff happened, and they could be kind of impressed with you, but they can't just come towards you and tell you that. And it doesn't have to be that exact situation or scenario, but there was something heartbreaking. Someone made some sort of communication, either to a king of swords, or this could have been a king of swords, but it was someone who was evil, dark. There was some sort of communication that was meant to cause you heartbreak. And someone wanted, like, someone's blessing, or they needed someone's help to do this, and they didn't get it. So there was some sort of resource here that they were expecting to get backing with, or get some sort of help with, and they were told no. There could have been a married couple involved in this, or somebody that um, was in a partnership, or that you could have been in a partnership with. There's a king of wands here who's very strong, or sees you as strong. Okay, so this could be someone in a leadership position, someone who's a supervisor, manager, you know, someone who wants to be caring, compassionate. They could be feeling very protective of you. Um, Leo energy could be significant, but they're seeing your strength. Someone in a position of authority is seeing your strength and your courage, and they admire you. There's a meeting going on. There's people talking here, and something is being brought to light. So there's a meeting that's going on, possibly within a group or organization, and... There's something that's being revealed or that's being talked about. You're definitely being talked about, but there's something that's being exposed or brought to light within this meeting. And it could have been this meeting was called after something was brought to light, or there's a group of people here and they're talking, shooting the shit here, and something is going to be brought to light during this meeting. Like someone may have some explaining to do. So it's like someone getting called in the office and having to explain um, why they were being shitty to you, why they were doing this, that, and the other to you. So someone may be getting summoned, and I don't necessarily mean in a court. So if someone's part of a group or organization, someone may be getting summoned to, you know, the higher-ups within this organization, and they have to explain themselves. Because someone wanted you to be in poverty, you could have been in poverty, and, um, you know, you were still persevering through something. This can also be somebody that you were in a partnership with that ended up in poverty <clears throat> or that wanted to keep you stuck in poverty that's connected to this group or organization. And we have the Queen of Cups in a Tower moment. So if you're the Queen of Cups, if you're a Divine Femme here, you could be bringing forth a Tower moment or this could be a Queen of Cups who is bringing forth a tower moment for an entire group of people. I'd like to get a few more cards here to find out if this person is truly in the upright or not. Because just because someone's the Queen of Cups, it doesn't always mean they're a good Queen of Cups. You know what I mean? That could just mean that there's a tower moment coming in the future for this person. <clears throat> which is good or bad. 
power moments aren't always bad. It's just an unforeseen event or circumstances. Someone was obsessed with doing something. They couldn't stop thinking about doing something here. They wouldn't leave you alone, whether you're masculine or feminine. It's like they wouldn't leave something alone. They just kept doing something to cause injury over and over again. They didn't want to learn their lesson, okay? There's someone here who's juggling. <clears throat> it could be juggling finances. It could be juggling people. There's an emperor here in the reverse, and they were withholding a very important piece of information, or they were not enlightened to a very important piece of information. This could be a leader within that group or organization. It could be that king of swords energy. But there was something that wasn't making sense, either to this emperor or about this emperor. They couldn't stop thinking about something. What were they missing? It's like someone couldn't figure out why someone or a group of people was going so hard to attack you. Why are they bringing all this attention to them? What are they doing? Like, I'm just hearing, what the hell are you doing? Why, why are you even doing this? There's a big, important piece of truth that's getting exposed. Ace of Swords, this is a victory. So some sort of truth is going to be exposed to bring some sort of victory here. If you're a Queen of Cups in the upright, this tower moment could be good for you. If you're juggling finances or having to juggle many things, there could be a truth being exposed or being brought to light <clears throat> about why. Because there was someone behind the scenes that was intentionally causing you problems, and someone was being stealthy and sneaky. So, you know, somebody was trying to hide the fact that they were being stealthy and sneaky, and they were the ones that are causing you problems. You may have had to get creative, you know, bohemian, like you could be very free-spirited. Maybe you're happy. You don't, you don't need a lot of money to be happy. And you have this clean slate, this new beginning. Um, this is like someone going from the Page of Pentacles to the Nine of Pentacles. So you could be receiving a, you know, a chunk of change here. Um, or you're expecting a chunk of change. There's some sort of money that could be coming to you. Judgment could be coming to you. Um, <clears throat> but you're happy with a little. And in this new start, this new beginning, you could be going to your nine of pentacles because justice has to be balanced out here libra energy could be significant um someone could have broken some sort of uh karmic or secular laws here and something has to be balanced out yeah because there was definitely an imbalance here and there's a king of swords so this is somebody who may have made a judgment call against you in the past but somebody was intentionally trying to take your options away from you and make sure you didn't have any options it's like they were throwing rocks, hiding hands, they didn't want you to have any options, and then blame you for not having any options. This king of court, this king of swords wants to help you come out of the cold. <clears throat> yeah, someone was intentionally creating barriers for you, trying to remove all your options, creating an imbalance for you. And this king of swords knows it. It could also be a king of swords that made a bad judgment call against you in the past. And they could have gotten left out in the cold. So if they took a bribe against you, you know, to remove some sort of options or place barriers in your path, um, they could be under judgment for what they did to you as well. Because they've been experiencing some bad luck. Someone's been experiencing some bad luck. Because of the barriers that they placed in your path. See if we can't find out who is placing these barriers. Is this the King of Swords that's doing this? Or that did it? Or is the King of Swords going to make this right? That's what I'm wondering. <clears throat> somebody definitely wants to partner up with somebody. Or is it a king of wands who wants to make something right that a king of swords did? Once again, there's something very taboo, maybe unorthodox here with the devil card. Someone may want to make a deal with you or there's a partnership that's going to lay something to rest or something needed to be laid to rest. Someone could be wanting to... Someone needs to compromise. That was in the very beginning. Someone needed to compromise. Someone needed to grow the fuck up. Someone could be older than you, so this masculine or whoever this is, this king of swords, um, you know, they could need to grow up, but they could be older. 
So there was some sort of message, communication, page of wands. There was some sort of message that was sent that was meant to lay something to rest permanently or is going to cause something to be laid to rest. The message, whatever communication this was, it was meant to cause harm. But there's a big transformation coming for a high priestess. So death, rebirth, something has to end. Something is going to be laid to rest so something new can begin. Someone you were in a relationship with, if you're the Queen of Cups, this could have been a King of Cups, or this could have been a married couple. Something is being laid to rest. So they try, this King of Cups could have tried to cause you harm, so you could, once again, be juggling. And there's a group of people who may be coming together to help you. There's, because there's an Emperor here who could be the leader of a group. I told you there's someone here who's the leader here, and they know that you were injured. So if you're the Queen of Cups, the King of Cups could be your ex-spouse or an ex-partner of yours that's connected to this, who got a judgment against you with um, that King of Swords energy. And then there could be the King of Wands here, um, who could be the leader of this group, who wants to make this right. <clears throat> Yeah, you're in a new cycle. The world card, there's a new cycle and a queen of swords. So divine femme, you could be in your queen of swords energy. You know, there could have been a judgment against you because someone thought they were better than you. This could also be a married couple. The king and queen of cups could have been a married couple. Um, you're in your queen of swords energy. Very logical. Very true. This could also be a judgment going in your favor in the future in this new cycle. So this could be another judge, a different judge. Um, someone may excuse themselves. Some sort of truth is being spoken. You're speaking the truth. So, someone may excuse themselves or may not have a choice but to excuse themselves from a case, and then something could be going in your favor, like if you get a new judge, like maybe you had a masculine judge that was, you know, like, just making bad judgments over and over again. There could be a feminine judge here, um, or someone who's in authority that's going to make a situation right. Yeah, there's going to be some sort of communication. You could be expecting some sort of communication. Someone's expecting communication. Because <clears throat> there's a karmic energy here who wanted you in poverty or is going to end up in poverty. Somebody that you were connected to wanted to keep you trapped in poverty. So that could be that King of Cups, your ex-spouse, if that's your ex. You're the star. So the star here, someone who has divine protection, you're going to receive some sort of communication. Possibly about what your ex did or what someone, a karmic, <clears throat> your karmic did to keep you in poverty. They created an injustice and they were trying to stop you from getting money. So something is becoming very clear that someone is just trying to stop you from doing better than them. For whatever reason, this ex person could have used the court system, justice system. They could have hooked up with this organization. And maybe this organization was working with them at first, but maybe they don't want to work with this person anymore. There was an emotional situation that was created. Someone was all in their feelings about not receiving some sort of money. So this person, this karmic, thought that if they created an injustice, they could stop money coming to you, but that they would receive some sort of money. But you're a high priestess. You're very gifted and talented with the Eight of Pentacles, and you have some sort of communication. This could even be from the courts, the Knight of Wands. There's going to be some sort of information that you're going to be receiving, and you could be expecting this. <clears throat> Maybe you foresaw this coming. Seven of cups there's a treasure so there's going to be some sort of information or communication regarding a treasure this could be actual money it could be children it could be a home whatever you view as a treasure it doesn't have to be a monetary value but you know whatever is a treasure you could be seen as a treasure um someone sees you as valuable 
in something that um, you view as valuable, you're going to receive some sort of information about this. <clears throat> you're manifesting moving on to calmer water. So you're manifesting a victory. You're manifesting some sort of treasure. You're manifesting a better life. You're going to get it, High Priestess or Priest. Someone needs a balanced diet here. Guilty is in the reverse, and they're trying to make you paranoid in the reverse. So somebody who is trying to make you guilty, or feel guilty, seem guilty, make you paranoid. Maybe they were trying to make it look like they were trying to poison you so that you would seem crazy. This person lost their spiritual gifts for playing around with someone who actually was divine. <clears throat> Someone wants you to go around saying that everyone's trying to poison you or kill you or something like that. Someone feels like um, something was love at first sight. There's some bad cops, corrupt officials in this, and someone lied about you. So someone could have lied to this corrupt official to get them to throw a judgment against you, or this corrupt official lied to the authorities on behalf of someone. They could have gotten paid, if you knew what I did. So someone could have gotten paid. Your ex could have paid a corrupt official to, you know make some sort of um, claim against you, maybe to say you were paranoid. There's a cord cutting that's needed. So this person is playing in your energy. Someone may need to cut cords with someone. Someone's using a texting app, late night phone calls, or a second phone. They're, they're communicating with someone on how to cancel your plan. So someone could be using a secondary phone or alternative methods of communication. There's this group of people, whoever these are, they racked up some spiritual karmic debt, okay? And there's competition that you don't know about. They're communicating with each other using, you know, um, different means. And it could be through an app or email, something like that, fake accounts. Even comments within your comment section. Like, people are communicating, like, on platforms like youtube tiktok whatever they're doing it with comments to communicate and they think they're not being seen or heard why do you think the feds are always all up in there watching shit you know um but you know there's some sort of communication someone's trying to compete with you and you may not even know who this person is or that someone's trying to communicate with you someone is trying to say that something is a misunderstanding or they want you to think something is a misunderstanding no it wasn't me it was the one-armed man um, they say they never cheated on you. Someone wants you to believe that they didn't cheat on you. <clears throat> this person has too many fake profiles to count. Told you they're on social media watching you. Someone's helping you behind the scenes and you don't know it. Someone within this organization does because someone was not an authentic teacher or prophet. Someone was a fake. Someone's like a hierophant in the reverse here. And they were secretly watching or being watched. Someone was driving by your home. They tried to unalive you for real. Stalker alert. So someone was being watched or they were watching you. And they were... They were trying to take you out for real. They were trying to make you paranoid. And that came out upright. So they could still be trying to unalive you for real. And that kind of... May go along with the last two readings I uploaded. Maybe it's because you received some sort of unexpected money or an inheritance and someone was desperate to get a hold of it. This person was desperate to make you look like you were not innocent and you were scammed by thieves. So they wanted to make sure that you would not be able to recover from this nor miraculously recover in the reverse. So they wanted to make sure that you would not be able to recover from whatever they did financially and health-wise. So, not only are they trying to make you look paranoid and sound paranoid, but you have good reason to be paranoid, because they are actually trying to do some shit to you. Fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag could be significant here. So we have fire sign and earth signs that are significant here. Thursday could be significant. With a Capricorn, Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, Sag again. Leo's trying to come out the bottom. Leo's very heavy in this reading. Very, very heavy. Heavy Leo. 
something could be happening in the last 24 to 48 hours or in the next 24 to 48 hours. <clears throat> and that's with an Earth sign Taurus Virgo Capricorn. And there's something significant about the fall. Yeah, they think something is all fun and games. So they, they were messing around. They think something is all fun and games in fall. Um, they're going to find out something is not all fun and games. So there could be an earth sign here who's under judgment. Strong Leo. Strong Leo. Um, <laughs> I just heard it. It's a great day for me to whoop somebody's ass. <laughs> Um, there, there's a Pisces here that's going to be leveling up, take it to the next level. Someone could be trying to level up. So this, there's these earth signs. Um, you know, someone could be, um, fucking around with a Pisces as well. I would caution anyone to fuck around with, um, anyone with Pisces and Aries in their charts right now, but you know, fuck around and find out there's something significant about Friday and someone sees the writing on the wall. So there was something significant about Friday, um, Pisces elevated or is going um, to elevate because something significant could have happened with an Aquarius and a Pisces on Friday. No time like the present. Someone found out that someone was being slippery as an eel and they were shady as fuck. And they're not going to get a happily ever after. And a Scorpio could be significant here around noontime. And then Leo again. Okay, there's a Leo here that fell off the wall that's going off the wagon regarding a Gemini. Or there's a Gemini who's going off the wall or falling off the wagon because of a Leo. I mean, just depending on where you are in this, this Leo is just... This is definitely for a Leo. <laughs> definitely. And I told you, Aries, Pisces, and Virgo. Heavy Earth signs in this one, too. Heavy Earth and Fire the splash of water yeah you do everything from a labor of love okay so there's something significant someone may want to work on some love with you oh someone lived under the same roof or someone was trying to get you to live under the same roof as them or this is something significant about a house Yeah, someone's barking up the wrong tree and they're not going to be breathing a sigh of relief. Someone can't relax because they're backed up against the wall. <clears throat> That's because they tried to pull the wool over someone's eyes here. And this involves someone who's older. But they were on a wild goose chase. It didn't work out. <clears throat> Alright, I think that's it. Alright, let's pull some letters. Alright, person, place, or thing. Letter F could be significant. B, Facebook could be significant. <clears throat> Someone could be watching you on Facebook. Someone could be trying to hack your Facebook. Oh. Someone could have a fake Facebook page. Someone could have made a fake one of you. I. A. Respiratory infection could be significant. FBI could be significant. Kentucky KY jelly could be significant. Um, we have FBI L A O K Y Y R S V. I hope this helps. Have a good day. <laughs>